Kazakhstan Kazakhstan renamed its capital the capital of Kazakhstan was Astana the capital of Kazakhstan is Astana the new name is Nur Sultan the new name is Nur Sultan N U R S U L T A N A N Nur Sultan N U R S U L T A N Nur Sultan is the former president of Kazakhstan to commemorate him to honor him the name was changed from Astana to Nur Sultan next Osiris Rex Osiris Rex it's a spacecraft Osiris Rex O S I R I S Osiris Rex is a spacecraft and it is orbiting the asteroid Bennu it is orbiting the asteroid Bennu Bennu asteroid B E N N U so there is a spacecraft named Osiris Rex it belongs to NASA it is revolving around an asteroid called Bennu it is orbiting the asteroid called Bennu B E N N U China cloned a first police dog cloning what is cloning asexual reproduction producing replicas and uh, already South Korea have cloned a dog in 2005 but cloning a police dog is very important you know why see even if you train a normal dog it will take some time or it may get good training or not to be a police dog China directly cloned a police dog the name of the name of the police dog dog is the name of the police dog cloned by China is Kunsun Kunsun K U N X U N the name of the police dog cloned by China is Kunsun K U N X U N Kunsun next World Happiness Report 2019 World Happiness Report 2019 Sustainable Development Solutions Network in the recent past started giving happiness report happiness is means are you happy means yes today I watched a movie I am a, ha I'm a happy person so happiness will not be measured like this there are some indexes like income freedom trust health life expectancy social support generosity etc income freedom trust health life expectancy generosity social support etc they will see all these things and measure happiness you know the happiest country in the world finland finland is the happiest country you know the data is collected for around 156 countries India was 140th country so Indians are not that happy not that happy means Pakistan is 65th Pakistan is 65th and uh, India is 140 India is ranking in happiness so we all should make India happy how can you make Indians happy if you all become good administrators and develop certain indices like health, education, income, standard of living, generosity, all these things, automatically India will be happy. So don't think that if India has to, ha has to be happy, politicians should make India happy. Even all bureaucrats, if they think, they can make India happy. At least 100 IAS officers, if they think, they can make India happy, they can make India happy. Okay, remember? World Happiness Report is given by Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Recently, our External Affairs Minister, Sushma Swaraj, visited Maldives. You all know, few months back, Maldives got a new president, Ibrahim Soli. He made a first foreign visit to India. And uh, Maldives is in a debt trap. Maldives has to pay a lot of loan to China. So, India extended a helping hand to Maldives. 
by offering 1.4 billion dollar aid by offering 1.4 billion dollar aid india is extending helping hand to maldives now maldives reaffirmed that it will follow india first policy maldives repromised that it will follow india first policy visa facilitation energy efficiency renewable energy visa facilitation energy efficiency renewable energy etc and uh, india have is now considering a request from maldives to support in constructing a cricket stadium to support in constructing a cricket stadium now india is going to support maldives in capacity development <coughs> health cooperation trade investment economy etc in all these things maldives is india is trying to help maldives <coughs> march 20th is the international day of sparrows sparrow pichukulu march 20th is an international day of sparrows march 21st international day of forest March 21st International Day of Forest International Day for the elimination of racial discrimination International Day for the elimination of racial discrimination racial discrimination like apartheid all those things and today March 22nd is World Water Day today March 22nd is World Water Day and uh, Japanese spacecraft unmanned spacecraft Hayabusa 2 H A Y A B U S A Japanese unmanned spacecraft Hayabusa 2 is probing an asteroid now trying to detect it created a artificial crater and trying to detect what is there inside this Ryugu asteroid R Y U G U Osiris Rex is Bennu asteroid. I told one more asteroid. Osiris Rex. Osiris Rex belongs to NASA, and Hayabusa 2 belongs to Japan. Hayabusa is an unmanned spacecraft. Belongs to Japan. Hayabusa, Ryugu asteroid. R Y U G U. Ryugu. R Y U G G U. You know, it created artificial crater. Crater means a big dig. very big ditch and it is trying to find out what is there inside that asteroid hayabusa 2 apart from that you have today there is a you all know politics are, is going on very speed the the political aspirations are also going jumping into from one party to other party defections all those things bjp announced its tickets narendra modi is again going to contest from varanasi and uh, amit shah is going to contest from gandhi nagar gandhi nagar and coming to there is one more article in hindu today <coughs> stubble burning stubble burning you all know in punjab and haryana the farmers are very much acquainted with stubble burning but it is causing lot of air pollution stubble burning is causing lot of air pollution stubble burning generally farmers think that it is a fastest method quick method to take away all the old stubble but they should get proper education that because of stubble burning environment particularly air is getting contaminated air pollution is high because of stubble burning there is a machine called happy seeder machine happy seeder machine which will take away this stubble but the problem is it's very costly see farmers think that burning is the cheapest method burning is the cheapest method than any other method so we need to think in the economic perspective of the farmer for the air pollution and stubble burning we cannot say farmer is a reason we should educate the farmer we should make stubble burning economically viable for the farmer this is a solution for that 
and coming to editorial page in hindu today travesty of justice travesty of justice in 2007 there is a case samjhauta express burning case samjhauta express burning case killing of 68 people in samjhauta express killing of 68 people in samjhauta express and uh, the people who are accused in this case the people who are accused in case were acquitted it raises many questions in such a alarming case acquitting these people raises many questions is justice delivery system good in india is it going on track there are many questions with respect to justice delivery system this is called travesty of justice and judgment coming after 12 years shows the commitment of the system towards anti-terrorist measures particularly when the case is related to killing of 68 people how can you deliver judgment after 12 years how can you take that much of time this was a question and uh, next article is when free speech is truly free when free speech is truly free in India Freedom of speech and expression is a fundamental right under Article 19.1a. But are we truly enjoying our freedom of speech? See, right to choose something, right to talk something, right to think about something, right to express our opinion. In fact, a small boy choosing an ice cream is also a freedom. But are we enjoying true freedoms? And uh, in the democracy, holding free, freer free and fair elections and also free media is a part of democracy is a part of democracy and a human being as a human being for example you cannot make a public voting voting cannot be public in the same way expressing our own will expressing our own will also comes under freedom of speech and if a man is honest and outspoken he is stamped as a man who was he has to he has a price to pay for example if you are going to hurt others if you are very honest if you are very outspoken people will not accept sometimes people will not accept sometimes so freedom of speech and expression has lot of limitations today in fact as freedom of speech and expression goes in the same way it's not just a right it's a duty to criticize if something goes wrong it's your duty to criticize in a democracy rulers are elected on behalf of the people someone is representing on behalf of the people and people have the right to question because we are sending them elections are part of that democracy means questioning if you don't allow that how can we call without freedom of speech and expression that our country a truly democratic country that our country is a truly democratic country this is what is other said bhava vyakti karana